Yo, what's going on YouTube? Before this video starts, I actually got a small announcement to make. Uh, I actually made a second channel to uh, upload my beats to. Because at first I used to upload all my beats on this channel too. I make uh, tutorials on this channel. And I got some feedback that was getting kind of messy. So that's why I made uh, a second channel to uh, upload my beats to daily. And from now on, I'll be uh, uploading tutorials on this channel only. So I'll be focusing on uh, tutorials on this channel only and keeping the, the beats and the tutorials separate. So uh, if you want to uh, keep up with my beats daily, I'll be uploading daily beats on my second channel from now on. So make sure to uh, subscribe to that channel too. I enjoyed the tutorial. So today we're going to uh, deconstruct this loop or melody I made. So I'm going uh, to give you all a little preview. Alright, so that's that. I made this a while ago, so I don't really know all the steps I did to make this melody. But I'm going to try my best to explain it as best as I can. So, for the first melody. For the first melody, I used the Piano V2 VST. I believe it's from Arturia. Uh, I used the American Soft and Preset for this. It's just a regular uh, grand piano. But it sounds very soft. I can play some notes. It's very soft. And, um, so I like that, and I made this melody. Very repetitive. So I started out with um, some basic chords. So yeah, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's just like um, a B minor chord. Uh, just like spread it out a bit. Like I started with the, the first two notes of the chord and added the, the third note after. It's nothing crazy. Now later on, I added these top notes to it. So I basically just used the same the same notes as these chords and just put them up an octave, but just cut them up a bit different. So as you can see, we got the B here, the B here, the F sharp here, and the D. So it's basically two two of the same chords, just like cut up a bit, spread it out different. Uh, but to make it less repetitive, I added these these small rolls to the to the piano melody. Added one here and one here. Sound like this. It's pretty much the same concept. The only small difference is, uh, is that I made these go up and these go down. Uh, I made these go down so they go back to the to the to the B note. So it gives the melody some swing. Like these notes really want to go back to the B note. That's what you hear right here. So that's why I made these go down and these go up. Uh, for the root notes, nothing crazy too. Just two Bs and one G note. So I pitch down four, then pitch down an octave up. So that really makes a difference. Same concept as the as the small rolls right here. The G note really uh, wants to make you go back to the to the B. For the velocities and the melody, I kind of made them go up every octave uh, or every uh, chord. So for every chord you see, you, you kind of like see the the velocities go up. So it starts out very soft, like all the velocities go go slightly up for every uh, every chord, every one bar. Uh, before the rest is very repetitive. It's nothing crazy. So that's the melody I started with, uh, but I actually used that melody in the in the verse too. I just rented it out. Um, but it's it's this melody right here. So pretty much the same piano melody, but the only difference is I, I took out the the high notes. So it basically got the exact same uh, chord progression, but I just took out the the high notes and rented it out. So for the effects on the the piano melody, I started out with the uh, RC20 Retro Color, the Final Three preset. Everyone knows a preset. I turned off the noise. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy. Just took out some of the low frequencies. So for the second effect, I used some fruity reverb. Nothing crazy too, just a default preset. I think I just turned up the decay a bit, but I think that's pretty much all I did to it. Then I just took some of the low frequencies out, put high pass filter on it, as you can see right here. Cut everything uh, out but like below 200 Hertz. Uh, I think I cut out some high frequencies too. On the second EQ, yeah, it's pretty much the same, but I just like enhanced some of the frequencies, like the high notes, um, and just lowered some uh, some mid notes. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the piano melody. So the second thing I added, 
uh, was this Mellotron progression? Uh, I think it just copies the, the piano notes, like the top notes on the piano melody. I'm gonna just copy and paste them. So yeah, as you can see, they're exactly the same notes, just some taken out. I believe I took the first note out. It gives it a bit a bit more swing. So it's just basically exactly the same uh, the same melody, just copied over to a, a different VST. Use Mellotron for this. Uh, the broken HDMI preset. No clue where I got the preset from. Uh, probably just browsing through some of the presets. Um, finally stumbled across this one. No particular reason I I, uh, I chose this one. It's basically a pluck sound, like a plucky sound, just to add on to the add on to the piano melody. So as you can see, for the first four bars, I um, kept it on the B4. Then I pitch it up an octave. So for the effects, I put on a fruity chorus, then some reverb, uh, same reverb preset as the, the Mellotron uh, or the, the piano preset. Some EQing, just a high pass below like 150. And a basic shaper box uh, pan preset, put it on 40% just to pan it out from left to right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the beginning of the melody. So for the next part of the beat, I um, open another Mellotron preset, the Cactus Trial. No clue where I got this from either. Sounds like this. Just a flute preset, nothing crazy. So I added a small roll here too to kind of get it back up to the, the G note. Uh, added a small roll, like some velocity change at the end, just to make it cut out like more smoother. Um, Cause otherwise it would sound like this. Just adds a, a bit more to the melody. So for the effects on this melody, uh, I used a shaper box preset just to pan it out from left to right. Put some reverb on it too, and took out some of the harsh frequencies. Also put a high pass filter on it. Uh, below like 150 uh, hertz and boosted the highs a bit so that's basically all there is to it for the flute so for the last part of the hook last eight bars of the hook i added an expand i used the female o choir and on its own it sounds like this so that's nothing crazy i just basically um copied all the notes i used for the chords and the piano melody I just put them all together at the, the beginning. So it perfectly matches up with the, the piano uh, the piano melody. So that just adds a bit more to it. So when you take the, the choir away, you'll really notice it, but you won't really hear it when it comes in. So yeah, it's nothing crazy, just adds a bit more uh, to the melody. So for the effects on the expand, I used uh, some basic EQ and two high pass filter. I uh, took all the low frequencies out under uh, 200 Hertz. Boosted the highs too, took some of the mids out. Um, put a small delay on here, some reverb too, and did some basic EQ and after the reverb and the delay. So yeah, the only thing we got now is the, the bass. Um, that only comes in at the, the bridge part. So I believe that's only once in the whole beat. It's just a basic, um, a basic bass from Omnisphere. I think it's the, the Growler Moog bass. I use that a lot. Could really recommend it to you guys. One of the best basses in Omnisphere. Yeah, Growler Moog bass. Only thing I did to it is uh, took some of the high frequencies out. So with all the components of the bridge together, uh, the bridge uh, sounds like this. So the whole melody or the whole loop is, is nothing crazy. It's just uh, the first piano melody I made. And for all the, the counter melodies and the bass and the choirs, I just copied some parts of the, the main melody out. I just put them in the, the counter melodies. So that's for this one. I just copied the, the top notes. For this one, I copied the chords I used. And for this part, I just um, filled it up where it, where the melody needed some, uh, some add-ons. So the last thing I did to the beat was the, the outro. Last eight bars, I just rented out this uh, piano melody. 
and then just reversed it and cut it up that's really all i did um i think i added some half time to it as well yeah added some half time to it four time preset you can just copy this some reverb and some eqing so that gives it kind of a unique ending to the beat it sounds like this So that's just a little extra to the beat. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, for the outro, I just uh, just gonna play the beat, just let it burn out. If you got any more ideas uh, for future videos or future melody tutorials or anything, just let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to uh, to check out my second channel. It's probably linked in the description or uh, comment section. So if you uh, want to check out my beats or something, just make sure to subscribe to that channel. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So I'm just gonna let the beat play, let the beat run out, um, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.